In this episode, you'll find out how to stop wishing that you had an opportunity to practice with native English speakers and how to actually bring them to you. In this episode, we have a great tip. I think it's pretty great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The car outside <laughs> thinks it's pretty great, too. <laughs> so uh, the tip is, you know, to get more interaction with people on the street or, you know, just you're walking around, you want to interact with strangers, talk to new people, try wearing something totally different. Something totally off the wall. Could be like a bright color. Could be a pair of goggles. <laughs> <laughs> So I ride my bicycle a lot, and when I run errands, like, to the grocery store or to the drugstore, I often just keep my helmet on when I go inside because I'm just too lazy to lock it up with my bike or carry it, so it's it's more convenient to keep it on my head, but I'll often get comments from strangers, you know, just in jest, like, try to be funny, like, hey, great hats, and so it works. I mean, it really is an easy way to bring more interaction uh, into your life. Right, and this, that would be a great way to start up a conversation. Uh, this is the tip that I think I read on Benny Lewis's blog, and his blog is called Fluent in three months.com. So he goes around the world and learns a new language every three months. Um, and how does he learn? Well, he speaks with native speakers. Right. And how does he do that? He has to stand out a bit on the street. So sometimes he puts on a weird costume or wears a t-shirt that says something funny. So people stop him. And guess what? That's a perfect opportunity to engage in, the, in, in just practicing English. Yeah. So something visual. Um, oh, I know another example is uh, uh, my friend went to, um, uh, he's from Texas, right? I, I think he went to a, a UT school, uh, University of Texas. So he always wears this Longhorns t-shirt, which is the, I guess it's the symbol of Texas. So people stop him all the time saying, hey, are you from Texas? Or did you go to uh, to University of Texas? So, you know, if you wear something like a university name on your t-shirt or, um, you know, a popular symbol or something like Boston Red Sox, you know, people might ask, hey, uh, do you like the Red Sox? Yeah. It's a great conversation starter. For sure. So give it a try. See what happens and get going with the conversations. Great tip. Okay. Okay.